Hi, this is Tess Ogamba. Let's talk about Vapid. In this video, I'll be answering your questions about Vapid. I have received so many questions about transcription in general, and some of those questions, actually majority, are about Vapid. So people are asking, do you sell Vapid accounts? How can I pass the Vapid transcription test? And so many of them, whether you've DM'd me on Facebook, on Instagram, you've sent me an email or just left a comment on any of my videos, just know I got your question and that is what I'm addressing today. What I've done is I have gone through all the questions in all platforms and I've written them down here in this book. So I'll just be reading through this book and then giving you the answers. Another thing you should know is I wanted to do this video live but I couldn't because of some reasons so i am recording it so i won't do any edits on it because i want to be want it to be as liveish as possible and i just want to communicate with you guys and if you hear any background noise kindly forgive me something else this is not a sponsored video i'm not a verbit staff they've not paid me to do this video just my channel is all about sharing information with you legit information I may not have insider information about Vapid, but the information I'll be sharing today is based on my research, experience, and knowledge about Vapid because I have a Vapid account. I've had it from, actually I have to, I've had it from 2018 and when I was in campus, it really came through for me and that is why I talk a lot about Vapid because I've seen it, its work firsthand and I'm sure it's coming through for other people, so please don't assume my answers are facts they are not they're just based on my knowledge on my experience and all that i'm not a bit staff so i don't know what goes on in the organization now let's get started the first question people ask me is how long does Vabit take to reply or give feedback after doing their test now this is a question i have been asked by so many people and some of them are <laughs> Some people even sent the question twice because they think I haven't seen it, but I do see your questions. So this question, my answer would be, what time do they give you, like on that email, once you've filled the registration form and then you get that email which has the link to your test, what time have they given you there? The email I saw, one week ago, it said, we will get back to you within 30 days. That is just a paraphrase of what I understood. So within a period of 30 days, that's when you're supposed to give you feedback. Now, if it takes two months, three months, then it's only right that you assume you did pass. Like just cut your losses and maybe do the registration again and then take the test again or try a different platform. But don't wait for more than 30 days and assume that they'll get back to you eventually. So that is the best answer I can give you. Just look at the time frame they've given you in that email. Um, a while ago it used to be think, what? I don't remember the exact time they would say in their email, but when I created my account, my accounts, and when my friends did that, their test, that is 2018, 2019, if you failed that test you'll get your feedback in a matter of hours or a few days one or two days and if you've passed the test the response the feedback will not take so long it will take maybe if it takes long maybe two weeks or three weeks but like my my first account i did the test today and the next day i was working on the platform so i know things have changed but I'm sure you can understand why. Like at this point in time, there are so many transcribers trying to get in. They have an influx of workers who want to get onto their platform. And I know there are also many other transcribers already on the platform. So they try to limit as much as possible. And I don't think they can get back to millions, even thousands of transcribers. I don't know, I'm just assuming, but do follow the time frame they give in the email. And if, if it takes longer than that, just count your losses. Number two, do you sell Vabit accounts? No, I don't deal in the selling or buying of accounts. Why? Because it's a tricky business and honestly, I don't have accounts to sell. And let me tell you, from this day I started working online, like from writing to transcription to all the other things I do online, I have never 
bought an online Mac account. All my accounts, I have built them from ground up. And I'm telling you, the accounts I failed tests, not once, not twice, very many times, but I still went back and um, learned lessons and built those accounts from where they are today. So I don't really advocate for buying or selling of accounts. Where can I buy a Mabit account? Like I said, that's not, um, I don't buy or sell accounts and I wouldn't advise you to do that. I know buying an account seems like the easy way out. But remember, even if you get this account, you still have to work on that platform. You know, and your account, maybe you buy an account at 17,000 Kenya shillings, that's 170 USD. And the first five jobs you do get rated poorly and you kicked out of the account. You see now you've lost your money. But if you actually take the time to use those tests as practice for your transcription skills, then when you get the accounts legitimately, I'm not saying buying an account is not legit, I'm just saying doing the test and passing them seems like the longer route but i can tell you for sure it's the best route and maybe someday you will understand why i'm trying to why i'm passing that message why i'm saying that anyway if you really want to buy an account whether it's a verbit account what a rev account all those other accounts i know of a platform accountsplace.co.ke i know i have suggested this to some people those guys who i have replied to their dms i'm sorry i am not able to reply to everyone's dm because there are so many questions so i get dms on facebook or on instagram i get emails i get questions on my videos as comments and i'm so grateful for that and guys please continue engaging with me and asking these questions but I cannot possibly reply to all of them because some of them are repetitions that is why i'm doing this so that i can capture all those questions in one video and everyone who asked a question can get the answer but yes for those guys i have suggested accountsplace.co.ke i see there are different types of online work accounts there are rev accounts public accounts writing accounts and all that so do go check it out i will add the link to that platform in the description so if you feel like you really want to buy an account go there and see whether you can find what you're looking for but remember nothing is foolproof yes they offer escrow protection in terms of payment but nothing online is 100 percent secure of course everything comes with some risk so be vigilant be careful watch my video on how to avoid scams so that you don't end up being scammed and losing more than you have so that was question number three number four why do I keep failing the puppet test? Honestly, my dear, I don't know why you keep failing the puppet test, but um, my, I would assume that you've not exactly mastered the art of transcription because these transcription companies, they give you a test and the test is to actually transcribe a file. And if, yes, people think transcription is, is just, you know, converting audio video into text. Yeah, it sounds easy but it's a skill that you have to master. You know, there's grammar, there's listening skills, um, there's research skills, there's punctuation, there's just so much that goes into transcription. And maybe the reason you're failing these tests is because you've not taken time to master the skill before you start looking for a job. It's like going to look for an engineering job or a data analytics job, and you've not really, you've never stepped into an engineering class you've not gone for engineering attachment like you don't have the skill so your guess is as good as mine you probably won't pass that interview but if you pass the interview maybe you used a backdoor route you won't last long in that job so it's the same thing so just try to practice transcription try to master that skill if you can afford training or if you can register for free training transcription training then do that and then once you feel confident enough, you can come back and try taking the test again. Another question that goes with that question is how to pass the puppet transcription test. Like I always say, guidelines. Guidelines are your saving grace, guys. Never ignore the guidelines. Like sometimes, there are times when I was opening my, creating my, what's it, transcribe me account? And even my puppet account. I remember I spent not less than three days on those guidelines. Like I just was sent the test or before doing the test i just sat down and read those guidelines i read them today 
tomorrow, the next day, until I'm confident enough that I'm actually internalized what they want me to do. And you follow those guidelines to the letter. When they say put a full stop here, that is where you put your full stop without question. So number one, guidelines are your saving grace when it comes to passing transcription test. Number two, research. Research. Please, make Google your best friend. Mm -hmm. Like research names of companies, research names of people, research um, events names and all that. Like don't just type, don't hear the word test or gamba and you just go and spell it the way you want. Make sure that you can, you've actually um, researched and make sure that the spelling you have in mind is the correct spelling. Let's say you're writing the word iPhone or Mika or what? Vaughn, like those brand names. Make sure you research first and you check even on the websites how do they spell these things? Which letter is capitalized? Which one is small letter? That will really, really save you if you normalize researching things, researching statements, researching names, places. Let's say you transcribing a video or an audio of people talking about places in Australia. So imagine if you just put in audibles every time they mention a place that you don't know. It's up to you to do your research and get those things right. The second, that's the second way for you to pass that test. The third way, please don't be in a rush. I know people are, like there's a time I told people you can't even take a whole week doing this test. One test, five minutes long. But you take even more than one week. But someone will just um, get that link to the test in 30 minutes. He's already submitted it. And the other day I was just checking. Um, a friend of mine, I advised him to take the test. And before he submitted, I was, he told me, come and see what I've done. Then I went and I told him, by the way, if you submit this test, you will fail. Number one, he did it in a, in a hurry. He did not follow guidelines and there were so many mishears. By mishears I mean you're writing things that are not in the audio. You know, you're hearing blow instead of black and you just write blow and you're like, man, let me submit this test. So take your time, don't be in a hurry, take even a week. I know Vabit they don't have, they don't give you a limit, like how, when you should send your test, so you can even take a month doing it. Number four is proofread your transcript, man. Before you submit it, go through it again. You know, just finish it today and then sleep tomorrow, wake up and go through it. Have you done everything right? Have you punctuated it well? Are commas supposed to be, have you placed commas where they're supposed to be commas? Have you placed full stops, question marks? Like how is the punctuation? Is it okay? Even just get a second opinion. Just make sure it's actually a high quality transcript before you submit. Just take your time before you submit the test. I know I am not giving you guys a direct answer, but there's no shortcut. There's no shortcut. Take your time and give value. I usually say when you give value to the world, the world will give value back. So just submit a valuable transcript and then let me tell you if a transcript is top notch verb it won't, take, won't even take 30 days to get back to you you will hear from them like in a week or two days how do i know i have been accepted they will send you an email saying congratulations you've passed the test and also give you a link to set your password and set up your account if i'm not wrong so you will know if you've passed the test you will definitely get an email and they'll give you everything you need the materials the tips and how to set up your account and also how to get started on working so don't worry about that they will definitely let you know does Vabit have a constant flow of jobs like does it have jobs throughout my answer would be not really because there are so many transcribers on that platform so they try their best according to the emails we receive from Vabit they try their best to upload many jobs but there are also many transcribers on the platform so the moment a job is posted someone picks it 
posted someone has claimed it so it's just like that you know so you won't really there's no time like there's no point in time where you will get a million jobs on the platform that have not been claimed now that does not mean that it doesn't have a constant flow of jobs it means the demand for jobs is very high but there are jobs on the platform i hope i have answered that sufficiently so following this question is why don't i get files on babbit the reason i don't get to claim files first is because other transcribers are faster than you so the moment a job pops up someone clicks it you know it pops up someone claims it so that means your speed is what saves you so the reason i'm not able to claim these files or you just click on a file and it tells you someone else has claimed this file is because it means someone else is faster than you so try to increase your speed you know just try to the moment you see a job don't even think twice claim it and then if you're not able to do them just release it another thing you can do is try to monitor the platform and see what time the jobs are many like when i was actively working on the platform i would wait until it was around 10 pm 9 pm and then i would start claiming jobs then because in my head i knew most transcribers are asleep maybe or just they were busy and it was at night so i would get more jobs from around 10 pm to 2 a.m. 3 a.m. So just monitor the platform and see what time works for you best. What time do you see more jobs than usual? And that is the time you should leverage. And that's the time you should be working on the platform. Online work requires you to make certain sacrifices, and one of those sacrifice sacrifices is not sleeping as much like other people. The entrepreneurship is also a very tricky part. So. This question is also asked so many times and the question is why am I not seeing files on Babbit jobs pool? Like every time you log on to the platform you don't see jobs for maybe a week or two weeks or a month or two months. I can't give you a direct answer but this is what I will tell you based on my experience. When I had two accounts like I told you guys, I had two accounts when I started and since I could not work on the two accounts at the same time, I gave someone else one of the accounts and after i realized that she used to get very low ratings so i just stopped her i told her not to work on the account on the platform anymore and when i got a little bit more time i started working i wanted to start working on that account so every time i would log in i would not see any jobs like it would just be that message we are working to post more jobs and all that for like i think two months and so when they just sent an email to support, Mabit support, they told them, so I've been waiting for jobs, but there have not been any jobs for like months now. They told me your account was suspended. Yep. So apparently the, the rating was so low that they suspended my account. So maybe the reason why you're not seeing jobs on the jobs pool is because your account has been suspended. You know, now the problem is Babbit, I don't know whether they've changed, but they usually don't like close down your account. You'll still be able to log in, but you won't see jobs. And if I had not sent that email, up to now I'll still be waiting for jobs on that platform, on that account. So if you, it's been months or many weeks that you've not seen jobs, please reach out to support and just ask why. Maybe your account has not been suspended, maybe it's something else. Sometimes when you have a higher rating, you will be able to see jobs, while someone who does not have, who has a low rating, is not seeing those jobs. So maybe it's that reason, but I would advise you to reach out to support. They will get back to you with an answer. Do you do the Babbit test for people at a price? No, I don't do that. There's a time I used to do that against my better judgment but i think now i know better i feel like that test is an opportunity for you to practice your transcription skills because even if i do the test for you and then you get accepted you will still have to do those jobs there you will still have to transcribe those files and if you are not able to pass the test it means your transcription skills need more work you need to practice more so you can be 
be better at it now if i do the test for you yes you will pay me but then you get onto the platform you do five jobs or you start getting low ratings and eventually your account is suspended you see now you would, you would have lost your money the money you paid me to do the test and i won't feel good about myself so yeah i don't do the test for people but i can give you insights but i can't really give you anything different from what i have said you know practice your transcription skills follow the guidelines research proofread your transcript make sure your transcript is very well punctuated and take your time don't be in a rush take your time to do those tests and it's not just verbit that um, gives you a transcription test before they accept you to the platform every transcription company or platform i know of they have some sort of a test you know transcribe has even trickier tests scribe has a test qa world has a test now verbit also has a test so bonus question there is a question i usually get asked a lot and which is the easiest account like test which account can i get easily and my answer is and i usually feel so sad when i get this answer but there is no better answer the answer is there's no easy account you know this is someone's every platform there it's someone's business like someone is trying someone invested in it they're trying to get profit out of it it's like you know being employed somewhere there is no company that um, is easy to get. There is no job that is easy to get. You have to do an interview. Some of them have more than one interview. So there is no easy account. All of them you have to pass a test or bid. If it's maybe a platform like Apple where you can also get transcription jobs. You don't do a test but you still bid for the jobs. And sometimes there are projects you can bid for and the client will require you to pass a test first so really my friends there's no easy one if i tell you there's an easy one i will be lying and that is not a very good thing to do so we've come to the end of this q and a i know you guys have sent me many questions that are not related to puppets and i will address those questions i have seen each and every one of your questions and i have plans for them so today i do this video on answering your puppet questions and the next video i will do is answering your questions on qa wild and other transcription companies and transcription jobs in general so keep your questions coming your comments your concerns that is why i'm doing what i'm doing i want to give you as much information as much knowledge as possible according to my experience and my knowledge and these are not facts so keep them coming i will always try to address each and every one of them i might not i might not reply to you directly but i sure will reply either on a video or directly if i get the time otherwise thank you so much for watching if you've not subscribed please click that subscribe button give this video a like and follow me on instagram at tesogamba see you in my next video